That's Nicola Freya, Nourish. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. I think trying to count out the number of blueberries might be a bit of a task. For a commercial kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. But it is a bit frustrating, isn't it? It is, yes. You know. Not very good if you get the muffin with no blueberries in it, is it? No, nothing worse than a muffin with no berries in it. Rightio. So what's the topic for this week? Well, oh, even though I do know, I can smell them just quietly. <laughs> well, we're looking at um, good foods and bad foods. I mean, I think classifying foods into good foods and bad foods can be just a, a can of worms, as they were saying on there. <laughs> um, yeah, I, and I think it's food is food, and it's about balance. It's about, you know, what, what your favourite things are. Everyone has a, a vice in their food, mm. and, um, you know, we all need treats and that sort of thing. So rather than think of good foods and bad foods, I think it's, it's better to think about the balance, how much, you, how much of different things you're getting, and making sure that you get more of the good foods or more of the healthier foods and less of the foods that perhaps aren't so great for you. So are you saying, Nicola Freire, nourish, <laughs> that we can actually have some biscuits and sweets in our diet? <laughs> well, like I say, if it's part of a balanced diet, I don't see why not. It's, it's all about getting that balance, yeah. Okay, so portions though, because this is it. Crikey, you can get some little cupcakes and then you get these massive muffins. Yeah, so yeah. portion must be a big thing though. Yeah, so portion is massive and um, at the moment and it's seen as such good value to get something that's upsized. So of course you get the value and you have the giant muffin or the giant drink and mm. then you th you're left thinking, okay, how, what am I going to do with this? I, I didn't need it, I don't feel like it now. So um, yeah, and I, th I think the portions you need to... Um, yeah, you need to stop and think, do I need this? Do I need this now? And the other thing is, of course, our activity levels sort of have gone down over the years. Our, yeah. our portion sizes have gone up, so that doesn't that's not a good mix. Well, that's a great point. And so, so what's some examples of that? So yeah. if we're getting portion and energy uh, a good mix there, what's some examples? Yeah. yeah, so we've got some examples just in front of us here of, of serving sizes. When I put these together, I was laughing to myself <laughs> at how tiny Giant. the small options yeah. really looked. They look like, no, they can't have been that small. So here we've got Coke, the, the little bottle of Coke from many, many years ago, and this big bottle of Coke, which is, um, you know, more than about two and a half cups. It's so, so much to have in one serving. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I've just got examples of the activity we'd have to do to uh, burn off the excess here. So with your Coke, that's walking for about one hour. This is very Ooh. sort of, uh, it depends what size you are and different things like that, but just yeah. to get a bit of an idea. The good old um, giant cookie, and look at that poor little co <laughs> <laughs> chocolate biscuit. It looks so tiny, but that's that's the standard biscuit size. Yes, which one the cookie monster would take. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um, cycling for an hour to um, just a light cycle to get um, where um, burn off the energy, extra energy from having that giant serving there. With the muffins, and even for this poor little muffin here, that's the normal size muffin, but it just does look so tiny there. So um, treading water in the in the swimming pool for an hour. So that's that's wow. fairly fairly. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty full on. Yeah, and these giant coffees, of course, are made with milk, and so they've got they've got the energy in them. Um, it was that's half an hour running from the the small size coffee to the giant size coffee. Amazing. Yeah. But who really thinks about that though when they go and purchase? That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah, I think that that is the problem. It's and. Um, and thinking about that activity as part of part of your diet for the day, yeah, is important to get to get that balance, and that, that's part of the the people's diet these days. That you you might be eating a bit more, you might be eating different things, but you, that's one way you can um, balance it out by getting some extra activity. Um, and also, the, the, I suppose the recipe choice as well is what you're actually making as far as your muffins, being conscious of. Yes. It's probably not back to the good old days of cream, the butter and sugar. We can be a little bit more savvy these days, can't yeah, we? Yeah. And these other cookie recipes that we could be trying. <laughs> you can. So, so we've got a, a cookie recipe today. And um, so, like I say, it's not always necessarily about exactly what you eat, but mm. often, often thinking about this serving size of what you're eating. So today we've got some little little cookies, and I've brought some along here, just cookies that you could have oh. with a cup of coffee, just this mini size, so. Aren't they delicate? Uh, so serving sizes. And there's actually only one ingredient in these cookies. Are you serious? Yeah. What? So they're very easy and simple to make, easy to just whip up, and, and if, if someone rings you and says they're popping in for a coffee, you can pop them in the oven and away you go. They're actually made 
of sweet short pastry. Wow. So you just take a sheet out, defrost it, cut them into the little mini cookies, and, and that's, it. That's, that's it done. And uh, yeah. So wow. pastry obviously is a food that you wouldn't recommend in large amounts, but like I say, it's the amount you're thinking of. It's just a little cookie. If you could just have one on the side of your coffee, then that's I love that. It's just so diet. easy. Yeah. So, I love it. You so make one it ingredient. Easy. Exactly. Very easy. <laughs> There's no excuses. You can't make those cookies. <laughs> yeah. Good on you, Nicola. And we look yeah. forward to seeing that recipe later on. That's Nourish Nutrition Limited. Nourish.org.nz is Nicola's website. It's fantastic, especially Facebook as well. You can have great interactions with her. Health through food.